with side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side, you know how to use three congruent parts of two triangles to show that the triangles are congruent. Once you know that two triangles are congruent, you can make conclusions about their other corresponding parts because, by definition, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. CP, CTC. So considering the top pair, these two triangles are congruent by side, side, side. So notice, down below, that the three angles are also congruent. Leading us to problem one, proving parts of triangles congruent. Starting with the given information, angle KBC is congruent to angle ACB, top left. So if we follow the arrow to the right, that segment BC is congruent to segment BC by the reflexive property of congruence. Our other piece of given information at the bottom left, angle K is congruent to angle A. That and our original piece of given information, together with BC being congruent to itself, all show us that triangle KBC is congruent to triangle ACB by the angle-angle side theorem. And therefore, we can state what we were asked to prove. Segment KB is congruent to segment AC. Your turn. Given this information in the diagram at the right, prove that angle C is congruent to angle E.